Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another review on the Weasel Zone. Today we're going to have a look at the Redfront 5 gaming console. The premise of the Redfront 5 is simple. A gaming system that allows you to play all your old favorite console games from your childhood with their original cartridges without having to dig your old consoles out of storage and without the hassle to connect them all to your new TV. The Red Run 5 has 5 cartridge slots for the NES, SNES, Genesis, Famicom and Game Boy Advance and it will also run Super Famicom, Mega Drive with a converter, Game Boy Color and Game Boy cartridges. So technically it supports 9 system, but who's counting? So instead of having to connect 5 or more consoles to your TV, you can now play your favorite old games with one convenient system. Connect it to your TV via an HDMI cable or a standard AV output, so you can play it on your old CRT screen for a more authentic feel. The Red Round 5 is not intended for playing ROMs and you will need the original cartridges to play the games. But you don't have to worry about region locks. The Red Round 5 plays PAL and NTSC cartridges just fine. The slot for the Game Boy cartridges is at the front of the device with the power button. The other slots are at the top of the console. This makes it a little bit impractical to use the console in smaller spaces when you want to insert an NES cartridge up right into the console, but that mostly depends on your personal setup and where you put the console. The signal is clear and crisp and scaled up to 720p. And thanks to the HDMI cable, the signal can be easily captured with a standard capture card. The Red Run 5 comes with an HDMI cable included, which is something that more devices should do and which is getting a big thumbs up by me. To play games with your Redron 5, you simply insert the cartridge of your choice into one of the five slots and once the data is read off the cartridge, you can launch the game by hitting play in the UI. It's important to know that you can't leave one cartridge in the system and just switch to another. You have to take out any other cartridge before you put in another, otherwise it will be confused and refuse work. The UI and menus of the Redron 5 are easy to navigate and allow quick customization of your settings. You can adjust most settings before you play the game, but you can also adjust settings in the in-game menu with the press of the home button on the Redron controller or a user-defined hotkey on any other gamepad. One of the things you can adjust, like in any other modern emulator, are image filters. The Redron 5 comes with several image filters like Super Eagle. Yes, that's what it's called and they alter the image by applying filters and effects to the image to make them more, I don't know, modern? You could argue that they make the games look less pixelated, but if you're playing your old childhood favorite, you probably want the original unaltered experience. It's an interesting gimmick, but something I wouldn't miss if it wasn't there. You can also turn on scan lines for that extra old school flair and play around with some other options like the screen size or refresh rate. When it comes to sound, the Red Run 5 does an outstanding job of emulating the original sounds of the system. You can apply some sound enhancement to boost the bass for example, but I prefer to turn it off just so it sounds even more like the original system running. Hearing those sounds again always makes me so nostalgic. The Red Run 5 comes with a wireless Bluetooth controller which can be used on any of the emulated system and it works fairly well. It can be charged with a USB cable connected to the Red Run. The controller also has two programmable macro buttons for various functions and a home button for pulling up the in-game menu. The buttons and the stick are very clicky which is actually quite irritating. The controller is also very light and being spoiled by the newer consoles it isn't very ergonomic. I would recommend to use the original controllers of the system you're playing anyway. And this is another big selling point for the Red Run. 5. It has 6 controller ports, 3 on each side of the system. To me it even seems mandatory to have the old controllers to get the proper old school feel of your games. You'll be able to play games just fine with the Red Run 5 controller but it just won't feel right. It's great to have if you need that extra second controller for your friend or just can't wait for the original controllers to arrive. The Red Run 5 has a SD slot in the back of the console for simple firmware upgrades and screenshots which are saved in the JPEG format. It can also be used for storing save files. The Red Run 5 has 4 gigabytes bytes of internal memory which is plenty of space for your save games. Another feature of the Red Run 5 is the save state system which allows you to save the game at any point during the game and restore it with the click of a button. Helpful for those extra hot bosses. The Red Run 5 is a great choice for the casual gamer that wants to play his old favorites or classic without the hassle of getting several consoles or having to hook them up to the TV which can be especially a hassle with newer TVs. The ability to use the original controllers and the great sound emulation makes it feel like you're playing on an original system. The HDMI connection makes it ideal for capturing old games without a lot of hassle as well. You can buy the Redron 5 on the Funstock store, which provided the console to me free of charge so I could do an unbiased review. At the time of this review, the Redron 5 costs £129 at the Funstock store and with the code WZ5 you get a 5% discount on the entire online store, so even if you want to buy something else there, you can do so and get 5% off. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to see more gaming and or 
review videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and to follow me on Twitter or Facebook to get notified of new videos and whatever else I'm up to. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye.